The Digital Camera Photographer of the Year competition is one of the leading contests for anyone with a passion for digital photography. Its aim is to reveal the most inspirational and imaginative photographers from around the world. This competition is a global competition and it's open to any photographer regardless of status, being amateur, professional, enthusiast or even a happy snapper. It's an even race. You could take one lucky shot and it could make it um, straight through to final, could be a winning shot and you may not have a portfolio that backs it up or it could be that you're a great photographer and you've got quite a few images and it's, it's, it's your life, it's, it's what you do. So it really is an even playing field for everyone. Technique editor Ben Birchall is one of the judges that chose the 2007 finalists. We stipulated that there should be no manipulation that takes away from the image. So, for example, colour work and traditional work that used to be done in a dark room, such as colour contrast, dodging and burning, we see that as techniques that are really part of digital photography. But obviously things like cloning, taking out a flower petal or maybe shifting a person to change the context. That's something that we wouldn't encourage and we wouldn't obviously judge on its merit. Last year's competition attracted more than 81,000 entries. There were 10 categories including architecture, documentary, street, animals, portraiture and landscape. It's pretty plain to see when a, a thumbnail leaps out at you. Obviously every image has to be opened up and checked at full size but you can generally tell and that could be a predominant colour. It could be the way in which the light is interacting and the image, it may be a spotlight situation, it could be something that's quite moody or dark. That's what draws the attention. And when the image is opened up and you can appreciate it full size and not next to any other images, then that sheer impact that makes it a great picture, regardless of subject matter, it has to evoke a mood and a a passion it has to, it has to stir your senses. The overall winner of our competition, Marta by Andres Dragan, is possibly the most powerful image that I've ever seen. The subject matter is wonderful, the lighting is fantastic and the, the amount of trust between photographer and model is displayed in this image. Um, what a great photographer to be able to build up a relationship and a trust with someone and take such a powerful portrait because, because that's what this is. This is a very, very powerful portrait as we would expect a lot of portraits to be. This is a serious portrait that tells the story about a specific individual and it leaves no room for doubt. This is, this is a very, very strong portrait and a, a very, very well-deserved winner in this competition. This year, Sky Arts will sponsor the Hidden Britain section, a new category that invites entrants to expose the real character or spirit of Britain in an innovative and distinctive way. For next year's competition, we're going to look at exactly for the same image qualities that we've been looking for this year, which is impact, mood, feeling, inspiration, colour, the whole ingredients of making a two-dimensional image leap from a page, leap from a gallery wall, really get into someone's head, really evoke emotion and, and leave, leave a real sense, an imprint on their brain. And this is what great photography is, it, it should be iconic. To find out more go to skyarts.co.uk forward slash photo.